Hello, this is Dr. Scott Kilberg, the Video Foot Doc, here with another video for you on all things foot and ankle. Today I'm going to talk about a very common condition called plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis is the reason why most people have pain in their heels. Uh, a lot of people will associate heel pain with what is commonly called heel spur. Well, oftentimes there is a spur that is a uh, part of this condition, but the spur itself does not cause any pain and the pain in the heel usually is caused by inflammation of a tissue called the plantar fascia. The plantar fascia is a broad, uh, tough band of tissue that basically starts on the heel bone and progresses to the ball of the foot on the bottom of the foot. It basically is sort of the tight strap that, uh, that forms the, the bottom of the arch. Well, for a multitude of different reasons, this uh, tissue can become injured and become inflamed. People who have flat feet will injure this tissue just by simply stepping and walking and this type of injury has been occurring for many, many years uh, because of the strain that occurs to this tissue during the flattening of the foot while it's standing and walking. People with high arches develop this condition because when you have a high arch you can't flex uh, the foot enough to absorb shock and that shock gets transmitted into uh, the plantar fascia itself. And you can also injure yourself uh, in this condition uh, to, or to develop this condition by stepping on a rock or having a, a partial tear of the tissue uh, because of uh, excessive use of stairs or ladders or even it could rupture in a sporting event or something that forces the uh, foot to kind of uh, quickly flex upward. Well regardless of the cause, uh, the inflammation that occurs in the plantar fascia is going to be uh, something of uh, a long-term type of inflammation in that it can stay there for a long time if not treated. Um, essentially what's happening is that there's microscopic tearing uh, that's occurring in the plantar fascia tissue itself and with every step you take that increases that uh, tearing and that damage even further. For a lot of people, the pain of plantar fasciitis is worse when they first get out of bed in the morning or, get, uh, or getting out of a chair. And what's essentially happening is as you're sitting in bed or you're sitting in a chair, it's starting to repair itself. And then when you first step out of bed or out of that chair, it rips again microscopically as the foot flexes or a shock is delivered to it in the case of a high arch. And uh, basically what results is inflammation of this tissue. Now plantar fasciitis is very easy to treat. Um, plantar fasciitis needs a reduction of inflammation, which is accomplished through stretching, icing exercises, anti-inflammatory medication, as well as injections of cortisone-like medication into the uh, region surrounding the plantar fascia, which will help to rapidly reduce the inflammation. But that's only part of the picture. You can get rid of plantar fasciitis and get rid of the inflammation fairly easily, but because the nature of the uh, condition is tied to one's foot structure usually, with the exception of a, you know, an injury that has occurred, um, the, the condition can come back again and again because the foot structure hasn't been addressed. So you have to address the foot structure in order to keep this condition from returning. For people with flat feet, that means getting into some type of arch support. Now, traditionally, a prescription orthotic is the best way to go because that will give the foot the best likelihood of maintaining a, a more normal shape and decreasing strain of the plantar fascia. Although in some milder cases, over-the-counter inserts can be used. With people who have high arches, they need to have shock-absorbing shoes as well as inserts that are soft and padded that will help to absorb the shock of of walking and will reduce strain to the plantar fascia itself. Now once the plantar fasciitis has been uh, treated and once the uh, foot has been stabilized either by increasing the arch support or by increasing shock absorption, whichever is needed, uh, the condition uh, has a much less likelihood of returning and success is usually long term for this condition. If you do develop heel pain, uh, don't simply live with it. A lot of people do and try to deal with it and think it's going to go away on its own. Uh, if there is pain that develops, please get treated uh, as it is something that's very easy to treat um, but if left untreated, uh, can persist for many, many years as it is not likely to go away on its own. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please look for more video on all things foot and ankle on this site as well as others. Or you may check out my website at www.inpodiatrygroup.com. Thank you.